Hi, welcome back to Educator.com's AP Music Theory course. Today's lesson is part writing reposition triads. So we've previously looked at uh, voice leading uh, guidelines and rules, and today we're going to look at uh, voice leading in the context of root position chords and how to connect them together. So the first thing we're going to look at is when the roots of the chords are a fourth apart, and then we're going to look at chords whose roots are a third apart, and last we're going to practice connecting roots that are a second apart. So let's look at roots a fourth apart first. So let's just give ourselves a key context. So let's say we're in C major first. And I'll start with a given bass line. So let's say we have a C going up to an F. And of course, we're dealing with root position chords. So this is going to be a 1 moving to a 4. And if you remember from the voice leading uh, lesson, let's start with a nice uh, closed spacing for this first chord. So make a G, C, and an E in the treble clef here. And so the guidelines that we're going to follow for uh, connecting root position chords are uh, pretty straightforward. First of all, uh, between two chords, we're always going to uh, hold over common tones. So keep common tones. So let's look here. We know that we're moving from a C major chord to an F major chord. So of course the C is going to be the note in common. So I'll go ahead and write that in immediately. And then the next rule to keep in mind is to move the other voices uh, to the closest possible uh, note in the next triad. So other voices move as short as possible. Um, and of course, keeping in mind that the goal of connecting these two chords is to have complete triads. So we don't want to be missing a, uh, the root or the third or the fifth. So let's follow this rule and uh, connect the rest of these notes. So we have the E here, and that will move conveniently up a step to an F. And we have the G here, and this will move conveniently up a step to an A. And let's do this one more time in C major. What about if we just move up a step and make a fresh start from a D to a G? So now we're going from the minor 2 to the dominant chord, the 5. And let's choose a different spacing now for the opening chord. Let's start it with F, A, D. So here we had the third on top, and now we've got the uh, octave on top. So first we're going to keep the common tones. So of course between uh, D minor and G major, the D is a common tone. And then we move the F up a step to G and then the A up a step to B. And you can see that now a pattern is starting to emerge. As long as the roots of chords are a fourth or fifth apart, like we've seen here, there's always going to be one common tone. So one common tone here. And basically what I'm doing to find the rest of the notes is making sure that we have a root, the third and the fifth, and that the root is doubled. 